welcome back to my channel my name is T if you are new here thank you so much for coming to my channel if you aren't new here and you already subscribed thank you oh so much for subscribing and coming back to my channel a part two Japanese online thrift store haul which is parentheses basically a buy haul and other things I bought from buy website that I love going on so much. My followers voted for me to do this video next. If you want to participate in voting for future videos of mine on this channel, go ahead and check out my Instagram and give that a follow. I'm always on there. It's my most used app. And also my Pinterest, my TikTok if you're interested in following any of those socials. So the first thing I'll start with is this diesel skirt. And you know my last haul was full of diesel stuff so I also got this skirt which is actually a tube dress I'm pretty sure by the design and how it looks it looks like it was probably like an early 2000s beach cover-up dress tube dress from diesel and it has like this cool black print on it abstract print on it of palm trees and that's why it kind of reminds me of like it probably was a beach cover-up dress because of that and it has like two ties in the front and I saw this and it was actually in baby yellow and I really hate the color yellow in clothing on me personally so I gave it a little writ dye rinse and it turned into like this green grayish color in person but I decided to wear it as a skirt because the length of it as a tube dress on me I'm 5'3 is a little bit awkward and I didn't want to cut it or anything so it worked great as like a midi um, skirt the size of this is an extra small as you can see like my other video all of the prices in yen which is Japanese currency translated to American dollars will be on the bottom of the screen to get a kind of gist of like the price range of these items. I think it's super cute. I wore it in New York um, over some like tights because it was so cold outside and it did its job. It's super like stretchy. So an extra small fits kind of like a medium. Next is this um, Vivian Westwood red label baby tee. It has the iconic Vivian Westwood symbol on the front but instead it's kind of a digitized version of it um as you can see it says vivian westwood red label it is a size two which fits kind of like a medium on me and yeah it's super nice surprisingly it is in great condition like the print on the front isn't cracked or anything it's in like this gunmetal type of color and I was trying to decide between this and another Vivian Westwood top but I liked how it had like this digitized version of her icon on here and also because it's a nice neutral white and gunmetal color so I knew it would match with a lot of items next is this Vivian Westwood wallet and it is a pretty big wallet um, it's in pretty good condition there I was searching so much on Bai's website for a Vivian Westwood wallet because there were so many but there was a lot especially black ones where the hardware was like super tarnished and I just didn't want that type of look um, so I found this one this actually the little um, snap closure is a little bit wonky so sometimes it'll close but then sometimes it'll come right back open I'll probably have to go get that fixed at like a store that specializes in fixing bags but otherwise it's in great condition you'd be surprised that I was in like three fashion courses because I don't even know how to describe the rest of the wallet it's like a um it's like engraved or quilted maybe of the Vivian Westwood symbol all around it as well which I was like yes I really like this one um because the rest of the wallets either had it like printed on or it was just like flat leather 
Um, and this is a patent leather, which I thought was super cute. Here's what the inside looks like. Your classic, like, big wallet like this that has, like, a lot of compartments in it. And this wallet, oh my god, like, it stunk. Like, I don't smoke cigarettes, tobacco, vape, none of that. So to me, personally, smoke smell is putrid if you're a smoker. I'm sorry it's pungent I can't my nose doesn't lie to me so this smelled so strong I just was like I don't know what to do with this so I got myself some pine saw baby that's the power of pine saw baby mm. and I scrubbed and soaked the hell out of this wallet um, and like let it air out um, outside if if you live in an area where somebody you know is gonna steal your stuff don't let it air outside have get a little family backyard and set it out there to air out um but yeah it was strong and I think I put a little too much pine saw because that is a very strong smell coming from it still right now but it knocked out the smoke smell so i i'd rather be smelling sniffing pine saw than sniffing tobacco the reason why i got that wallet is because i got this vivian westwood purse it's like a bowling bag style purse and this i'm pretty sure is the reason why i went to buy in the first place because i really wanted a vivian westwood bag and for the price of it i'm pretty sure it was 50 dollars. but i'm gonna check and it'll be on the screen but for that price and how good condition it is i just could not pass up on it it's in this beautiful like deep blue like indigo color um and it has like the vivian westwood like scratchy um plaid print all over it and it's in great condition like all of the hardware is pretty great and good um the bottom of it is not even scratched that much and yeah if you think that wallet smelled crazy this bag smelled like an apocalypse like it it smelled horrible like i just know it was like an older japanese lady carrying this bag around everywhere minding her business chain smoking throughout her whole life um probably was ashing it inside the bag that's how bad it smelled but i got myself some pine saw too and scrubbed the hell out of this bag the zipper works pretty great and as you can see it's authentic vivian westwood and then the inside as you can see even though i don't really like yellow the inside of it is so cool looking like it just looks so retro, so cute and unique. And it's pretty spacious, has its little compartments. Um, yeah, this bag is so cute. It has like no scratches. The handles of it are a little bit worn, but like that's to be expected from a vintage bag. And I'm gonna be like gripping it <laughs> like this. So like that doesn't even really matter to me. Yeah, I really love this bag. It's the reason why I wanna buy it in the first place. So I am super thankful for that. I'm kind of like, why did I buy this? But then again, you know, like it's a little harmless item and it is this Super Lovers little panda coin purse, retro panda coin purse. And I got it because I wanted something that was just authentically like a Japanese clothing brand or brand. And Super Lovers is a niche Japanese brand. So I saw this and I was like, why not? It's super cute. It's super scratched though and like in less quality than I thought it looked like on the site. So I was iffy about that. And also I don't think, okay, also I don't think it was worth the price I paid for it, but you know, as like, I don't know, a little souvenir or you know, a little knickknack from a certain country that is authentically from that country I thought why not I want to include that in my little haul instead of just all of these like other designers that just happen to be thrifted in Japan last but not least is this 
Rick Owens Lily's line top. I'm pretty sure Lily's is his women's casual line. Am I wrong? I don't know. I might be wrong. But yeah, it's this top and for the price of it, I just, I couldn't. I'm a shopaholic. I saw Rick Owens piece. I saw it for a cheap price. I had to buy it. So I bought it. Um, it is this um, top and it has, as you can see on the inside, the Rick Owens label and it's pretty worn but I kind of do like the look of it. It's in this like, I want to say like burnt umber or maybe like brick color which I'm not used to wearing but I do have like these knit fuzzy shorts that like match this so I was like why not it'll match and it has like this like scrunched up twist in the back with like a keyhole and then the front it's a little bit plunging and at the bottom it's a bit of like a I want to say a peplum like asymmetrical bottom of this shirt and yeah it's cute like I said for the price I just I did not want to be like oh maybe I should have got it there was this and another Rick Owens piece that I saw on there and I was too late to get it so if you're on buy and you see a Rick Owens piece for a great price for yourself get it like buy it immediately because if you go back it will be sold out like my item was but I'm still happy with this shirt it's unique and cool and yeah I don't know it's just a super different top from any other top I have in my wardrobe so why not so that's all of the pieces I know quick simple to the point I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things on buy in my cart so there's bound to be a part three part four part five so keep an eye out for that if you like this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button that like button notification bell um comment down below any of your opinions or suggestions for other videos or just if you want to say hi or anything like that if you want to see me i've worn a lot of these pieces if you want to see that once again on my instagram go ahead and hit that follow button and keep up with me keep up with what i'm wearing what i'm doing all of that and yeah thank you so much if you've gotten this far in this video i will see you guys in the next video